Så har du det. Men du åker inte över.
that if he leaves our employee uh, within three years to join another police agency, he owes us money. And we've actually recalculated the expenses and went from $16,000 to $18,000. So, okay. I have the finish slot over here. Then All right. I'll your review. So from going for his um, Homeland Security to help us too, won't it? Yeah, definitely will. Yes. Okay. That's a good thing. Nothing else. And you don't have any concerns with him? Uh, he's going to have to go part time, obviously. He's getting his bachelor's, he's not going to go full time. Here I can't imagine, but if you work next, so maybe, maybe you can. I don't. Know. Yeah, I mean, we've always altered the schedule for the folks in the past when they okay. when they've had classes. So I'm certainly not opposed. You certainly were wondering how it would work. Yes, yeah, so something. Yeah. Right. Are there any objection to hiring Mr. Uh, Malatek? Yeah. All right. Uh, what a motion from the board, and I'll sign it. Make a motion to um, offer Mr. Malatek. Jared Malatek. 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 Norm. For full time as you Full time. Because they'll have to go away so that show to up again in the summer months. Thank you. Graduation will be in August, so I anticipate September, October, November. Should, by December 1st, he should be fully trained and out there by himself. And the other new hire will pretty much be on his own, too, right? But well, by that point, yeah, he, he would definitely be, be on his own. Okay. So. And I have two forms to see that I go to the academy. Uh, the first is just a physical entrance waiver and informed consent form, which indicates that uh, uh, the candidate has been advised that every three years he must maintain physical agility standards as well as a medical requirement. And there are actually two forms. Okay. And just sign the hiring authority, please. one high visibility traffic control shirt and one pair of duty pants for Officer uh, Mitchell Brooks, uh, $260. I'll move purchase order 1587 to Ben's uniforms for $260 for uh, uniforms for Officer Brooks. Second. Okay, purchase order 1587 has been moved and second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Back on the 11th of February, the, the select board authorized uh, $240 for the minor preventative maintenance check on the generator. Uh, they came and did some, uh, they, they came and did the uh, minor <laughs> preventative maintenance. <laughs> Plus, okay. they found that the coolant heater had failed and needed to be replaced. Okay. So that brought it up to $429.50. So I just want to make the board aware of that. If you want to make another notation, I actually marked it on the actual with additional repairs, $429.50. How much was it? Any, any other one? additional notations on that? Conversely, so yes. for $240. Did you say coolant heater? I'm sorry. I over that. Coolant heater. <laughs> It's cool, but you need to make sure your coolant is kept at a certain temperature, apparently. All right, um, do we want to amend this, or let's see. Um, how about, um, 
motion to amend purchase order. Because we've already approved this PO, yes. is what you're saying. Oh, okay. Purchase order 1584 to $670, up to $670. Well, that that is the exact, right? That's the total price. Well, that's the total. Price. I thought it was an, uh, this was the additional, additional right. to that. Four twenty nine fifty is the price. Oh, okay. Act, uh, that's an actual. Okay. Yes, yeah, this is actual. Part. So the total is four hundred twenty nine. Okay. okay. All right. I'll make a motion that we increase the purchase order one five eight four to be a total of four hundred and twenty nine um, for the uh, generator. What is it called? Uh, oh. Maintenance and coolant. Okay. Ma uh, yeah, okay. Maintenance, coolant, and repair. I'll second that. Okay. The purchase order 1584 has uh, been amended to reflect the amount of $429.50. Are there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. That's all that I have for you. We have a non-personal, a non-personnel, <laughs> non-public personnel issue. Wow, easy for me to say. Um, before we get into that, how is Officer Brooks doing? So I'm uh, out. He's doing actually very well. Good. Doing very well. Surprisingly well. Good. So I'm out the other night with Hancock. Hancock. Oh, that's Philbrook. Okay. Hancock. Yeah. All right. So I need a motion to go to non-public for a personnel issue. I'll make a motion to go to non-public for a personnel issue. Second. You seconded. Roll call, Denise. Yes. Miles. Yes. Mike. Yes. We're a non-public session to deal with a personnel issue. There's people working here. Right there. And by yours, I mean the Downs. Uh oh. Oh. Um. Are you coming in to see us, Chief? Or no? Okay. <laughs> Just fine. Out. No, we got to get back. This station. There's just so much happening that we that we're involved in. That we have to iron out. Okay. This is, this is going on the next Sunday. Just so you know, we've been covering Berwick off and on. And we're involved right. in the vigil that's going on up there. Right. All the kinds of stuff, so I'll keep you updated. Hmm. All right, thank you. Was that the camera? No, it was his phone his that phone. time. Right. Right. Yeah, just let us know, Mark, if there's things you need from us, let us know, please. Sure thank you for yeah. all that you're doing and your, 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 your members are doing. I have something yeah. for you. Okay, thank you. For me? All righty, so do two. let's deal with uh, the welfare petitions first. Denise, do you have a motion on the two welfare cases? Oh. Is she ready? Yeah. Is she ready? Are you ready to go? Yeah, but what are the cases? Okay. She's going to give you the numbers right now. Okay. I'm making a motion that we um, go to uh, decline case number 2017-002 in 2017 005 for welfare. So the, motion, the motion is to, yes. to deny the uh, uh, welfare petitions for 2017 001 2 and 5. And 2017 005. Send it up together. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye opposed? All right. So, <coughs> sorry, that was my knee on the. Uh, oh, my, not my knee, my hand. My, Heal of my boots, I'm sorry. Now that we're all awake. Um, all right, so building inspector is not coming in this evening. Fire department um, is otherwise um, uh, is busy. The, the fire chief is not coming in this evening. Uh, the highway department was out plowing uh, all night and morning, so I don't expect them to be in, but the fire uh, police chief did say before he left that um, he had a lot of compliments as to... Uh, the job that the highway department did, so kudos to them in this latest snowstorm. Uh, we're tabling the dog waste sign, if that's okay with everyone, yeah. until after town meeting, and we've already dealt with police and welfare, so we have town administration. And we'll wait for the town administrator to come back in. She's going to give us an update on the first couple of things. So. Can we talk about recreation? Uh, we will add, yeah, let's talk about recreation now. Yeah. So I sent you guys the um, yes. recommended um, job descriptions for our um, director, assistant director, and the counselors. And um, I kind of hope we can get it resolved tonight because we need to send them. We're looking to get um, 
UNH summer help. So that would be nice. The one question, uh, the one thing that I need to get back to you on is a, on the director and the assistant director, it's not an hourly wage. We changed it this year to be a stipend. So okay. we didn't have to pay overtime okay. for meetings and stuff. So, and I had it and it's sitting on my desk, but oh. we can get those numbers for you. So, if, as long as you, um, well, if anybody has last year's rec budget with you, I chose me. Well, no, it wouldn't be that. Well, you have in, uh, oh, maybe. Um, I'm about to take it out, though. Their backup, the, the one that they submitted. Because right. it's in there. I think I took it all out. I know, I purged my stuff too. Uh -huh. Could be in one of these random pieces of paper that's stuck in there too. Long long, so. Cleaned it all out, unfortunately. It's it's the detailed rec budget. Yes. The, yeah. the detailed rec budget. No. Um. Yeah. No. I I cleaned it up. Sorry. It was what was it's the dollar amount that was approved in their budget by us uh, by the budget committee. So um, I will modify the job descriptions to contain that dollar amount. Um, the the uh, counselors are still paid by the hour. Okay. So um, <coughs> so was there any questions about the job descriptions? Um, Caroline did. Let me give you a copy. Caroline did a few modifications. Uh, mostly just grammar stuff, um, and um, is this different than the uh, the one we have in front of us? Yes, yeah, yeah. When had is when I did. Gotcha. So, okay. And so then she just modified, and she's really it was really more about staying consistent with you know instead of um, what is select right. minute select board, um, you know just some um, uh, just words that. Um, made it sound a little better. It wasn't anything drastic that she changed. It was just more. Um, um, yeah, it's just, it's just basic language. Language, yeah. yeah. Principles the same. Yeah, exactly. So. Okay. Um, I can find it. It's on the drive, but it would take me a few minutes no. if you want to. No, yeah. it's okay. I mean. It is what was approved by the yeah, budget committee, so I think we're okay, and we would have fixed it before we put these out. Um, and I will send you guys copies of the revised ones. But like I say, in general, if you can give me consent, that, that we would go forward with these job descriptions. Um, I don't know if you spoke about um, the term, but I think it is a good idea to oh, put yeah. terms for um, all of them, because they're all seasonal employees at this time. Mm -hmm. So we saying, Terms um, for one, uh, well, one for one summer season to conclude, you know, the end of August or something like that. And summer season. It's actually, yeah, really the end of the yeah, one summer something season through August of 2019 or something to that effect. I'm done. That looks pretty good. Okay. I will add that line in there. Um, and hours vary on um, the counselors because some come in early and some come in, come in late. So uh, there isn't set hours on the um, on the counselors. Um, okay. And the directors, their hours are Monday through Friday from 7 to 5. Um, and most of the time that they are there together. Um, and it's earlier and later because of the um, pre and post uh, okay. uh, daycare after the program. Um, mm -hmm. So, and if it's not one, it's the other or it's both. Um, that's what it has been. So I would, that I would leave it at that at that point. And Caroline, one of the things that she added, they needed a valid driver's license. Mm -hmm. And that would only be on the director and the assistant director, not the counselors. Right, because yeah. they can get picked up and dropped off at work, but I want to make sure that there's not a reason why they can't get payroll records here. Yep. Yeah. For example. Yep. So we will add that um, that on. That was the only thing that you changed on that, right? That yeah. driver's license on both of those. Um, so that wouldn't be to drive. No, no, driving driving people, no. Just because they bring all of the cash and 
yep. whatever money they um, collected, Caroline yep. weekly, right? It, I changed it to, it's actually bi weekly. Bi weekly, okay. Um, so, oh, I don't know that. Do it. Yeah, like on the weekend. Oh, are you talking about, I was talking about payroll. Payroll is. Oh, I'm talking about money. Okay, money certainly can be weekly. Okay. Payroll is okay. bi weekly. Okay, I would like not like to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, gotcha. Agree, okay, agree. so payroll is bi-weekly. Bi -weekly. Okay, money should be weekly. Yeah, yeah, got that. So I'm okay with that as well. So. All right. Other than that, though, the actual description of the jobs looks really good. Yep. Any? Uh, so I, I'd say they're good to go with these. Well, is there any objection? No, not at all. Yeah, can we make a motion to? Accept uh, I'll move forward? to accept. With the revisions of the salary and right. Caroline's um, grammar, move, um, whatever. Um, move to accept the job descriptions for uh, summer camp director, summer camp assistant director, and summer camp counselor, um, with the uh, modifications yeah. we've discussed. Okay, I'll second. All right, so I move to second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Great, thank you. Perfect, thank you. All right, back to um, the uh, other part of the agenda. So, town meeting, the voter guide addendum. That's good to get gone. It's printed and printed it's going and out gone. tomorrow's mail. Awesome. All right, going out tomorrow. And there's a purchase order, by the way, in the folder. Right here. All right, I'll get to that in a moment. Mail 3519. All right. Budget committee secretary position. Have we heard so, any updates? Um, I need to reach out to both of these individuals. I'm working on that. I haven't done it yet. In okay. the meantime, um, yes. there's a vacancy for ZBA secretary. Um, Sarah is agreeing to follow through on the one that is scheduled, yeah. um, but she's not going to be available after that. So okay. I'm going to, with the board's permission, see if these one, of, one, one of or both of these two it? might like to do it. Okay. She does planning as well, doesn't she? Yeah. Is she staying with planning? She's going to stay with planning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All righty. All right, so we'll wait on that one to hear back. All right. Merging town-owned land? Yes. This is um, my suggestion to the board. Um, if the board would consider it, it would be pretty straightforward to um, file a piece of paper with a registry. It's fairly simple to merge all the lots behind Hanford. There are like 30 of them or something. And they're really tiny and they're all owned by the town. And they've been like that for decades. And Do we know why? Because there was an approved sub subdivision there once upon a time, right. which now exists in in its tiny little part that was actually built, which is Hall and Gilmanton. Right. Um, but the rest was abandoned and since taken over by the town. But it remains all separate little lots with approved paper streets, like streets on paper out there. But there, it was abandoned and it's, been re it's reverted back to the town? It is all town on land, yes. So okay. there's kind of no, it, it, it just seems cleaner to me. Also, when you print the town report, we're not listing it's 75. Right, it's, separate. It, it's a little bit misleading, yeah. I think, to the public that thinks that we own all this land when... Um, well, it is the same amount of land, it's just not... It's the same amount of land, but all these lots, it's kind of um, strange that they continue to exist in yeah. that form. So. Um, just something to think about. It would go through planning and just be signed and entered into the registry. It wouldn't be. Um, there's probably filing costs, I would assume, with the registry of you know one or two hundred dollars. But mm -hmm. it just seems like housekeeping. Is this conservation land now, or is it something that can be purchased from the town and put in a, a development? It's not conservation, and it's largely wet, which is why it was abandoned. Uh -huh. Yeah, more sense Hannaford? Behind Hannaford. Yeah. Like next behind to Shaw's land. as well? No. Where we own? Land. Well, it might be somewhat, actually. It might be somewhat. It, what about Dover Bowl? No. I mean, is I'm not sure how far behind? that way it goes. Yeah. I mean, it goes a little bit that way. It goes back further. Yeah, it goes back further mm -hmm. in the other way rather than. Okay, so mostly what? So not a builder could not come in and say, we want to buy this for. Well, it would be town-owned, so it would it's always be the town's discretion. Right, right, yeah. 
sell it. Okay. okay. It's easier though to sell small parcels than making it one. One large one. Yeah. To make point, so. I don't speak for it. No. Well, you're right. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I'm going to say. If someone is going to come in sometime and say, you know, I want these five parcels right. versus we say, a humongous parcel, right. you know, because we made it all one. You have to subdivide sure it again if you want to sell it. That's yeah. Less, it's just the cost. I suppose, but you could also um, subdivide it at that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. At the expense of the person wanting to buy it, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. But it's a lot of wet land that they can't buy. They can't build anyway. Right. right. So, so, so it kind of is, I think, going to be town-owned for a very long time. Okay. You know, I, I can't imagine. I mean, there are ways to. Can you access it any other way except behind? There's, it doesn't, where does it end up going? It goes um, mm -hmm. ultimately, you know, mm -hmm. towards Shady Lane, you know, sort of. Okay. It, it's further up on Rollins Road, like probably across from Goodwin rather than Shady Lane. It's probably further up, but it's that field back there. Behind the um, Jank mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. but way closer to. Dover, then I, I don't think it gets really close to Janko because that's a really large lot that they're on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and owned by other family members next to Right, next to it, mm -hmm. right. So th there's a lot they own. The end so, of the to, to that. But it would have nice. let that stuff. So, I'm not supposed to. I mean, I have to look at it. I don't know. I, I can provide you a map and we can continue yeah. to talk about it. I, you know, it just seems kind of silly that, you know, we list, I don't even know how many. Yeah, there's, a, there. there's a, a full page of, I mean, I don't know if all of these not are. Not all of them are going to be able to. Um, yeah, they're not all. Is there a way, so I'm assuming it's Mount 21, because all these are very low dollar number assessed value. It, 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 would it be worth our while to figure out if some of these are sellable? Um, before we combine the rest? I would think so. Um, well, there's more expense to that because, yeah. to my mind, you need some kind of soil scientist or some kind or of surveyor. expert to, you know, or surveyor and or surveyor to um, draw lines and mark soils to figure out, you know, this is dry and that's wet and this is dry and that's wet. Um, it's also in the commercial district. A commercial district. A commercial See, I'm more concerned, I'm less concerned with that, those parcels than I am with places like the St. Michael's Cemetery and other that should be private fun. property that for some reason the town, because we're right. just lazy over the years, decided, oh, it's never going to be taxed, we'll just call it town land, when in fact it's not town land. I'd be more concerned about cleaning up the list of all those properties than yes. the wetlands behind Yes, Canada, and that's happening because Avatar, that's under Avatar's purview, and they're working on that, and this year's maps, when we get the and new Personally, I'd like to focus our time on other things than that. But that well, it's, it's basically, you know, um, if it were a quick and easy board decision, then it's quick and easy to do. If it's going to cause conversation and dialogue, then you can decide it's not worth it. But It's very simple know. on our end. We're just going to say yes or no, but we're not the ones who's actually going to be doing it. What I'm saying to you is, I think there are better uses of your time than this, what I'm to say. Oh, that's perfectly fine. It's, it's relatively, you know, I'm thinking it's 15 minutes to say we're going to merge the following lots and put them on a I, I don't know that it is truly that simple, never mind. Miles just raised several points, and he's just raised several Well, points. that's what I'm I mean, saying. If there's discussion that makes it not worth a board decision at this time, like to my yeah. mind, it's, it's simple. On my end, it's simple and pretty easy to do. But if, if the board discussion is going to not get it to that point, then that's perfectly fine and we can drop it. Yeah, I, for me, there's, I think we can drop it for now. I yeah, just think there's like a hundred other things I'd rather be okay. focusing on than, than this, to be honest. Okay, that's fine. All right. Department had me. Well, here's my first example of that. So, I didn't pick a date, so I dropped the ball there. That's my fault. So keep it on for next week. I didn't even email them this week. They got all about it. Weather this morning threw me. I was going to handle all this stuff. But, okay, so I'm going to schedule that. That's my fault. Sorry. Department head.
policy review welfare, we already did that, so that needs to come off. See, this is what I'm doing. Well, so you got to a certain point with it, which is really good. Right. But the board can decide that it wants to Revise work them. on it if you want to. Okay. Well, we have more time that we can do square. Yeah. And, and we can take it off for, you know, it's, you know. I think it's a good place, Mark, to keep us aware that we really might want to do a little more detail. Can we add um, policy review of personnel policy on there, too? I think we're just doing placeholders. So the personnel policy needs to be revised again, right? Um, it does, and it's something that we can work on. It might be prudent to not approve such revision for a No, while. no, that I understand, but I'm just saying if we're just adding things off the place yes, of work. Yes, certainly we should, that. we should put on um, the personnel policy. We don't lose sight of wanting to revise that again as well. Mm -hmm. Probably should be looked at yearly anyways. All right. And, uh, board member activities. Is the planning board actually meeting tomorrow night? said I would go in your stead. I'm happy to do that, but are they actually meeting, do we know? It has not been canceled, though there are no cases on the agenda. That doesn't mean it won't get canceled. They're supposed to meet. Has it been but noticed? They do. But I haven't seen anything being sent out, so that's what I'm wondering. I'm not clear. Okay. So to my mind, that means it's on until it's not. All right, well then, I may or may not be going to the um, planning board tomorrow night. And the historic committee's been sending email after email after email trying to figure out when they're going to meet. It was supposed to be next week, but it's not going to be now. So I can't tell you when that's happening. So, please. I have recreation tomorrow night here. So where am I going? In there? Well, maybe. It, well, 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 we can start here, and then if I they, would they're say bigger group than us, so we can go next door. But it's um, it may be that they're not going to meet. So um, okay. let's start here, we'll and start then here. we'll see if we have to move. Yeah. So we have. We have a lot to do because it's getting coming up on us quite quickly. So, yeah. um, so that's what I have this week. That is the only thing I have this it's week. June before you know it. Mm -hmm. um, I have a meet the candidates forum at the library tomorrow evening. All right, at six thirty. Well, good luck. luck. Thanks. Got? Building permits, right? Yeah. There are no new building permits. That makes that easy. Review of correspondence. Offset printing for 328.25 for the voter's guide um, addendum. I think that's what that word says. Yep. Uh, seconded. Okay, first order 15 and 72. So I move and second to any discussion. Seeing that all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. And that was 328.25. 328.25. The only other thing in here that corresponds to the town is on the town of Newmarket, their planning office, is to let us know that there is a public hearing for an application for um, a cell tower. And they have to let all the, all the uh, abutting towns within X amount of miles, I think it's like 50 miles, isn't it usually? Something crazy like that. Um, to know. And so we now we know. So if anyone wants to go and to tell them why or why not, they should erect a cell tower in the town of Newmarket. I'm sure they'd be happy to hear from you. It is on um, next Tuesday the 19th, no, three Tuesdays, or two weeks from now, the 19th at 7 p.m. in our town council chambers. And that will file that. That's all we have for correspondence. Any other community input for the evening? Right, seeing none, we will adjourn by consensus at 747.